Hi, everybody. I'm Jarrett Krasowska. I'm an author and an illustrator of books for young people. And uh, I'm here today to talk to you about drawing. And I'm going to be here every single uh, weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call me Jarrett, or I also go by my initials, JJK. It's something my grandfather called me when I was a boy. And all of my good friends call me JJK. And I would be so honored if you did as well. So this, today's a bit of an introduction on what we're going to be doing every day. Over the, over the next days and weeks, I'm going to be giving you all practical tools so that you can tell stories using words and pictures on your own. Now, you might know me from picture books like Punk Farm. You might know me from the Lunch Lady books or Jedi Academy, or you might know me from Hey Kiddo. I want the grown-ups to know that uh, regardless of the age of your student that you have at home, um, I'm going to be, this is going to be appropriate for all, all ages. Now, I loved to draw when I was a kid. I would come home from school and I would draw all the time and I would tell stories and I want to share some of those books with you. Okay, fourth grade. I had this story. There was an egg, a tomato, a head of lettuce and a pumpkin and they were best friends. And they went to this haunted house together. And in this haunted house, there was an evil blender and there was an evil toaster who chased their friends who were this young and in love bread couple. And then there was an evil microwave who kidnapped their friend who was a stick of butter, but their best friends who were this punk rock donut band saved the day. And this kind of things I was making. I also I was writing and illustrating books, like I would just staple pages together. And I would also make a lot of comics. Here's a comic that I made when I was in the fifth grade. And it was called Lightning Man. And Lightning Man was uh, about a superhero who had a day job at the bank. And just as he was about to start his vacation, his evil nemesis was robbing the bank. So we had to change into Lightning Man's costume and save the day. And it's funny because... Here's a superhero with yellow rubber gloves. And that's kind of what I became known for, for making a comic about a superhero who wears yellow rubber gloves. And I'm talking about the lunch lady. So today I'm gonna to draw a couple of my characters just as an introduction. And over the weeks, and we're gonna be drawing characters together and we're gonna be brainstorming together. Um, so I have a very nifty camera right here above my desk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, there we go, so you can still see me and you can see my paper. Let me grab a pencil. Now these videos, while they're live, you know, today is Monday the 16th and it's 2 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. If it's earlier in the day, then clearly I am from the future. And so here I have my piece of paper and I have a pencil. And the very first thing I do is I just draw a shape. Every character starts off by just a couple of shapes. And when I'm drawing the Lunch Lady character, the first thing I do is I draw an upside down teardrop. The very first thing I drew. Next up is I draw a regular ended teardrop. And that's gonna become my character's head and torso. Now this is what you call a gesture sketch. A gesture sketch is just a very loose sketch in which you're trying to sort out the pose of the character, where their heads, arms, and legs will go. So I'm gonna figure out where the character's legs go. And the reason why that we draw a gesture sketch is so we can see if everything's fitting. Like I didn't add a lot of details there, but I can already tell her torso is a little bit too long and I'm running, and because our torso is so long, I'm running out of space. So I'm just gonna erase real quick. And now I didn't spend a lot of time on that. So I'm not so concerned about losing all of that work that I put in sketching out all of the details. Okay. Torso's a little smaller. I'm gonna make the head a little smaller. And now I'll figure out where the legs will go where the arms will go. And there we have it. My gesture sketch, the pose. Now on top of this gesture sketch, 
I'm going to sketch out the details like the characters. Hair. Facial features. Clothes. Now when I'm happy with my sketch, I'll take out my ink. Now what this is, I have a brush pen, but if you have a Sharpie, or if you just have a black marker, that will work too. But I like to draw with a brush. Now this is a brush pen, but I also sometimes will take a brush and dip it into ink. And the reason why I like drawing with a brush is because you get a very dynamic line when you draw with a brush. If you apply a lot of pressure, that line will be thick. If you apply just the slightest bit of pressure, that line will be thin. And with just the flick of your wrist, you're going to get a very dynamic line. Now, I'm lucky enough that I grew up to be an author and an illustrator, but you know, all that time I spent drawing as a kid, uh, the fact that this is what I do for my job, that's like nice and all, but really what drawing for me as a kid brought to me was just joy. I just always have loved to draw. There's just something magical about making something out of nothing. And no matter how I felt, if I was feeling frustrated or scared or angry or sad, any of those emotions, drawing, putting marks on a paper, has always made me happy. Even now as an adult, you know, being that this is my job, I do need to remember sometimes to say, hey, just draw. Just grab a blank piece of paper and make something out of nothing. And it looks like this ink brush, this, this brush pen is running out of ink. But you know what? That's giving me some pretty neat lines there too. Okay, you know what? I want to check in with my pug, Ralph. Let's, uh, can we get it over to the uh, pug cam? See how the pugs are doing? Let's see. Oh, there's a good boy. Hey, Ralphie. Hey, Ralphie boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Ralphie. You're a good boy. Okay, it's always good to check in with your pets. My pugs make me really happy. All right, let me get a fresh piece of paper. And since this is running out of ink, I'm gonna switch to my Sharpie. Let me get my pencil again. Now I'm gonna draw another character that I've been drawing quite a bit in my books. And this isn't a character that I invented, but one that I feel really, really lucky to draw. I mean, this character is, is one of the most iconic characters in all of popular culture. So let me show you what I do. First thing I do is I draw sort of an oval, more like a, somewhere between an oval and a circle on its side. And then I draw a bell shape. And let's see if you can figure out who this is gonna be before I tell you. So I figure out where the arms will go. Figure out where the legs will go. Now I wonder how many people have figured this out. The next, the next thing I draw is going to give it away. This character has two big pointy ears like that. Some wispy hair. Two eyes. A lot of wrinkles and I'm talking about Yoda original old-school Yoda OG Yoda not baby Yoda maybe we'll draw baby Yoda later uh, but I, I also write and illustrate a series for Star Wars called uh, Jedi Academy 
And I get to invent a lot of my own characters. But I also get to work with some of those iconic characters and creatures uh, from the Star Wars galaxy. And what's really neat is I just got to invent my own way of drawing Yoda. That's one of the most beautiful things about being an artist. Everybody has their own art style. There's no right way and no wrong way to draw. It's kind of like how everybody has their own voice. Everybody has their own handwriting. Everybody also has their own way of drawing. So maybe there's a character that you love from popular culture, and I'd love to know what your art style would be to draw that character. So there we have Yoda. Now, something that we love to do here in the Krasowska house is that we love to draw together. And at the end of every episode, you know, I'm gonna have given you a drawing lesson, giving you some tips, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to also help inspire and encourage kids and grown-ups to draw together. So we're going to be playing different drawing games. And it is now time for... The Scrabble Game! It is the Scribble Game, and I am joined today by my eldest, Zoe. Zoe, say hi to everybody. And uh, Zoe is 11 years old. And Zoe, would you like to uh, uh, teach the scribble game to all of the young artists out there? Yeah. So what you do is one person takes something to draw with and draws a random scribble. And the next person has to, like, try to make a drawing out of that scribble. Exactly. So you're not in control of what scribble you get. And so, Zoe, would you like to scribble first? Or would you like to draw a scribble first? Scribble. You like to scribble first. Now, it's also helpful to... Oh, shout out to uh, my hometown of Worcester, Massachusetts. I've got my Worcester mug here. My buddy Mike gave me for my birthday from Worcester Wares, one of my favorite places in the Worcester. Uh, it's helpful that everybody use their own color so that when you look at all of the artwork together, you can see what the original scribble was. So, Zoe, what color would you like to use? Blue. Okay, so let me get... Let me get the camera ready. There we go. Okay. And I will, um, I'll give it a countdown. Ready? One, two, three, scribble. All right. <laughs> I like right. giving you hard ones. You do give me hard ones. <laughs> My kids always try to stop me. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I don't need to keep the paper in the same orientation that Zoe handed it to me. I can flip it around. And there's no rush. I can take my time. Ah, let's see. I see a couple of things. Oh, you know what? Oh. All right. All right. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do. It's a kid. Yeah. Yay. Here we should get like a, a button that makes an applause or something like that. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, Zoe, count it down. I'm going to do a scribble for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Scribble. All right. Have at it, kiddo. And you can move your chair if you need to, honey. Okay. So like you can spin it around, spend some time looking at it. There's no rush.
A majestic figure. The trash can. Hey, so we're in. Good work, good work, good work. Okay, let's come right back here. Um, do you want to play one more time or do one more round? Yeah. Okay, let's do one more round. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. Here, you. It's your turn to scribble. It's your turn to scribble, actually, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I see a couple of things. I see a couple of things too. Hmm. Oh. Mm. All right. You ready? You ready for this? Yeah. Oh. Do you know what it is? A crown? Yeah. But it might not be what you think just yet. Ah, uh, did, you didn't see that coming, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mermaid princess. Yay. All right. You ready for a scribble? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> All right. There you go. Have at it, Zoe. Always do that kind of shape. I guess so. we'll have to we'll have to switch it up. We're gonna we have a lot of these videos to make. Is someone mountain climbing? Yeah, because they're about to fall off. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Um, so uh, that is just about the end of this this first episode. Before I go, I do want to give a shout out to one of our friends, Grace Lynn. Grace has been working on a podcast called Kids Ask Authors. She's been working on this thing uh, for months and months now, and in it, Grace interviews other authors, including yours truly, uh, <laughs> questions that kids ask. So. At the very end of each one of these episodes, what I want to do is I want to celebrate all of the artwork that's being created. See, one of the best parts about being in art class is getting to see what other artists are making. So I'm going to put a post out on Facebook. Grownups, if you would like to share some of the artwork made, uh, please just make sure you're putting the first name only if the, if the young artist is signing their work. And at the very end, we're going to have a celebration today I'm gonna celebrate the artwork that my kids make because they inspire me so much. And we wanna thank you so, so very much for joining us. Uh, go yeah. and make something out of nothing. See you tomorrow at two. <laughs> Please click like and subscribe and keep drawing. See you soon.